Hello, and welcome to part four of the inflammation series from scholarlynurse.com. This presentation will cover both the local and systemic clinical manifestations of the inflammatory response. If you learned something new or come across something you like or found helpful, please like and subscribe. The objectives in this video are to recall the local signs and symptoms of inflammation, differentiate the types of exudates, list systemic clinical manifestations, and correlate systemic manifestations with cytokines as actions. Five of the local clinical manifestations were already discussed in part one of the series as they are considered the cardinal signs of inflammation, but I will do a quick review now. The vasodilation caused by various inflammatory mediators results in erythema or redness at the inflamed site. Vasodilation also causes the warmth associated with inflammation. Edema is caused by increased vascular permeability and accumulation of exudate. Prostaglandins, bradykinin, pH changes, and exudate contribute to pain. Loss of function is typically the result of chronic inflammation, edema, and pain. An acronym to help you remember these cardinal signs of inflammation is FEEL. For pain, heat, erythema, edema, and loss of function. Another type of local clinical manifestation of the inflammatory response is exudate. Exudates are made up of fluid in various blood cells. They are commonly termed drainage in day-to-day -day clinical practice. Serous drainage is clear to light yellow or light gold in color and is a normal part of healing. Blisters contain this type of exudate. Sanguinous drainage is red in color due to blood vessel trauma. It's typically caused from wound cleansing or other wound bed trauma. Serosanguinous exudate is typically seen around the midpoint of the healing process. It gets its pink to red color as it's made up of red blood cells and serous fluid. It is generally this type of drainage seen in surgical drains. Purulent exudate, also known as pus, is an abnormal type of drainage and is indicative of infection. It can be yellowish, green to gray in color due to the white blood cells, dead cells, microorganisms, and various debris. Abscesses, cellulitis, and other infected wounds can have this type of exudate. Fibrinous exudate is due to increased vascular permeability, which in turn leads to fibrinogen leakage. This can cause adhesions and is often seen in venous ulcers. It can be of a thick and stringy consistency and white to yellow in color. Hemorrhagic exudate entails a rapid response and sometimes emergency treatment as it's frank blood, which is bright red to maroon in color, gushing from a blood vessel. This can be caused from rupture or necrosis of blood vessel walls, and examples include sites of tissue trauma and hematomas. The inflammatory process can accelerate mucus production, which is referred to as catarrhal exudate. Examples of catarrh include phlegm that builds up in the throat and rhinorrhea, also known as runny nose. Moving on to the systemic signs and symptoms of inflammation. Fever is caused by cytokines released from neutrophils and macrophages. The cell-derived inflammatory mediators video in this series discuss prostaglandin's ability to affect the temperature regulation center in the hypothalamus. The shivering chills sometimes experienced with fever is the body raising its temperature to meet the new thermostatic set point. Fever increases metabolism, which results in tachypnea and tachycardia. Benefits of fever include increased phagocytosis, which is the eating of pathogens by white blood cells, microorganism death, and T-cell proliferation. Leukocytosis refers to an increase in white blood cell count. A left shift can occur as neutrophils rapidly increase in number, leading to a large amount of immature or banned neutrophils. Cytokines can also cause nausea and poor appetite, as well as fatigue. It is one of the early signs of inflammation. Thank you for watching. I will be going over nursing interventions in the next video from the scholarlynurse.com inflammation series. If you enjoyed this presentation, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, please comment below. Have a great rest of your day.